They're not fooling anybody that what happened was a natural disaster. It was not an earthquake. It wasn't a typhoon. They're lying. I'm not crazy. Whatever it is they're guarding so carefully, I need to be able to prove that it's real. The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. And not the other way around. I know many of you have family and loved ones. And that you want to help them. Well, this is your chance. Alright guys, we just saw the new Godzilla 2014 and it was awesome. We both give it an A+. Plus. Hell we, fucking yeah. We both recommend that you guys see it. You know, Brian Cranston, I thought he was going to do good, but he did great for having such a, you know, having such a, you know, short performance in the film. He did awesome. Loved him in it. Everything is great. The Godzilla's design, the fighting, it's, it's fucking great. You know, a lot of Breaking Bad enthusiasts, you know, are going to be disappointed or, you know, have a complaint that Brian Cranston is in the movie a lot. But, you know, if you're going to see this movie, then just pay five bucks. Because if you're going to pay ten or fifteen bucks, you're not going to, you're going to be disappointed with, with what you're expecting from the film. But it's overall a great film. Uh, let's talk about the plot a little bit. So, All right. there's different timelines. Uh, it gets straight to the point. In 1999, there's a, there's a, a supposed tragedy, you know an earthquake but it's not really an earthquake brian cranston works at this um, nuclear factory and he he's assigned to go in that day and on that day he loses his wife and he's telling people it's a it's a um it's a, it's a unknown tremor right it's an unknown it's an unknown uh, eco it's like it's like it's an eco radiation it's an ecosystem that has radiation it's a it's electromagnetic pulse it's a creature it's something you know and the tragedy happens, his wife is lost, and it, then the film moves on forward to, to um, Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, and 15 years later, he's in the military, he's a family man, he comes home, spends time with his family, and, until he finds out that his, that his dad, Brian Cranston, got arrested in Japan for exploring the quarantine um, nuclear site where his house was of the tragedy, so it's up to, um, so it's up to Eric, Aaron Taylor Johnson to help out Brian Cranston, and when they, when he meets him. He's, you know, he lives in a crummy apartment. He's just obsessed with his wife. You know, he he's, he lost everything. He's got nothing. So yeah. So he kind of went a little insane. Yeah. He's, but I can't say I blame him. Yeah. Well, yeah. But a tragedy happens. You want you demand an answer. That's what a you know a loony conspiracy theory, the, theorist does. He, he did a great job in it. Exactly. You know? So it was yeah. a fantastic performance. He, he did. Forget. He did. A great, he did a great job. So yeah, he's a loony conspiracy theorist, and Aaron Taylor Johnson basically goes to the to the house where the devastation happened and. They basically investigate and find floppy disks, and they find out that the, the area is not really quarantined. And then they get captured by the military, and then the monster, uh, Mon what is it, Mantra? M they call it Muto. Muto. Muto comes up. Shit happens. It's Ground Zero there, and basically, the f and basically it goes from there. We're not going to say any we're going to reveal any spoilers. Just watch it for yourself. Let's talk about the action. Godzilla's design is great. Muto is great. The fighting in, in Japan is great. Knock, them knocking down buildings, helicopters, buildings, all this other shit. Hawaii being flooded. You know, Las Vegas, people running around, you know, because of, of the storm and the two monsters. It's just, it's it's awesome fun, you know? Yeah, it's, talk, it's, talk a little bit more about it. It's fucking, it's fucking great, man. Um, Godzilla... Is pretty much in this film a force of nature. Exactly. And so are the Mudos. Exactly. And basically, this film is supposed to be 
like what would happen right. if something like this is real. Right, exactly. That's the whole point of it. That's that's what I like about it. It's just it's not like a typical, you know, Godzilla movie where oh shit, he just pops up from the from the you know river and oh my god, he's here. It actually gives you time. It gives you you know some patience. You get you get you know you get a realistic story. You know you, you they, they treat this as if it was a devastation, as if it was a tragedy. Because let's face it, if this were to happen, people were, would consider this you know a tragedy. They just wouldn't have a conclusion that is just a monster, you know, or a creature. It gives you time. I like the I like the different perspectives of you know the you know the scientists you know investigating this. I like the military perspective, and I also like you know. Aaron Taylor Johnson and his family, you know, wondering if they're going to be okay, if, are they going to be safe, are they going to make it out alive with this tragedy? Speaking of Aaron Taylor Johnson's family, we even get to see yeah. a, an old fr an old friend. Yeah. The, the one and only Elizabeth Olsen, as you know from Silent, Silent House. House. Yeah, they all did a great job. Brian Cranston, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olsen, they all did a great job. I like it. It's 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 serious. It's done well. I heard a lot of negative shit. Oh, it's a two-hour piece of garbage. You're not missing anything. It's that's bullshit. And it's just a bunch of shitty dialogue. Godzilla and all the others. That's bullshit. bullshit. Oh, and hear this. Here's here's something interesting. You should all know. People always mistake these monsters, like yeah. the female M Mudo, yeah. as the Cloverfield monster. No. I haven't, least, I haven't seen Cornfield. I haven't seen really Cornfield. And you the mo other creature that yeah. looks like something from the other Toho monsters. Yeah. Called either like Rodan or whatever the hell. Yeah. But I like the way that it was serious. It builds you up. It gives you patience. It just doesn't show up. You, you just you just focus on the tragedy, the mystery behind it, what's going on. Then pretty much later on, you know, it just you just wait. You just wait. It builds up. It it, it builds up. Until Godzilla and Mantra and Mudo show up and they just fuck up shit up. It's just awesome. Yeah. Um, that's all I could. That's all I could really say. I just, I just love that it was taken in a serious approach. It wasn't rushed like every other Godzilla film. It, it gives you something to think about. It gives you good pacing. It makes you wait. And then, you know, I wasn't disappointed with it. I loved it. What did you think? I loved it. A plus. Oh, it wasn't great. It was fantastic. It, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. It's fantastic. It was and, awesome. And for all you motherfuckers who are listening to this, if you all think this is a piece of shit, got, you got one question. Fuck you! <laughs> We're being assholes. But, I mean, you can have your opinion to it, but don't take it so seriously when you're going to see the film. You know, it, it's a Godzilla film. It's, it, they, they did it the way they did it. It's supposed to be taken seriously, so just take it for granted and just take it for what it is. I mean, what else can you do with the story? If you want Godzilla, fucking shut up, watch the other films. But this is taken in a serious approach where you're just waiting for Godzilla to show up and for action to happen. I like it. I like that. It's two perspectives. Like I said before, it's great. Just go in with what it is. I think I think they did a great job. There's nothing more you could have done with this film. Do you agree, Dylan? Agreed. All right. One hundred percent. Yeah. And did I also mention that the Mudo also is like a more than just a name? It's like a government. Yeah. Code. It's yeah. Known as, yeah. It's known as massive unidentified terrestrial organism. Yeah. You also you also see some you know old old real footage of Godzilla back in the day of the military in the 40s or 50s. I'm not sure what. You, that is exactly getting rid of it in the ocean and covering it up. But it, it's great, man. I love that. I'm, I'm definitely going to revisit this again. This is fucking amazing. A+. Plus. Yeah. All right. Me, me too. Yeah. And I'll make sure to come we again. Bo we both highly recommend it. Yeah. So if you're going to see this movie, pay five bucks to see it and just get... And just just pay five bucks. It's worth it. You'll get enjoyment out of what it is. So just spend your money. Just go to a local theater like we did. Spend five bucks and just enjoy for what it is. It, I think it's worth five bucks. It was more worth my five bucks. It's worth the price, guys. So definitely check out Godzilla 2014. So we're done. And our next movie we'll be reviewing is Transformers. And our horror break will be... Um, the Wicked. The Wicked. The Wicked's the next horror break. Oh, so yeah. Oh, we're and, done. And also one more thing. Yeah. For two future movies that are coming up that are monster related yeah coming soon in 2016 there will be yes a sequel to godzilla yeah and godzilla a, sequel yeah and of course in 2015 they're also going to be releasing a new one and only gamera all right awesome all right guys so we're done here we'll see you then you guys have a good one thanks for watching and Peace. just wait for more videos later